Greetings, my cosmic explorers. I am Mei Topo, your guide to the mysteries of the universe. Welcome back to my blog, where science meets attitude and wonder knows no bounds. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of gravity, from ancient theories to modern mysteries. Let's explore everything you've ever wondered about gravity, including Newton versus Einstein, black holes, quantum mechanics, and what the future holds for our understanding of this invisible force that shapes the universe. To help us break it all down, I brought along the brilliant Brian. So grab your coffee, fasten your seatbelts, and get ready for some serious celestial wisdom. Brian, the floor is yours. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. Gravity is the invisible glue that keeps our feet on the ground, the moon orbiting Earth, and the stars dancing across the cosmos. It's the reason you land back down after jumping, why rivers flow downhill, and why we don't float off into space like helium balloons at a birthday party gone wrong. At its core, gravity is the mutual attraction between any two objects with mass. The more massive an object, the stronger its gravitational pull. And yet, despite being the most intuitive force after all, we've been falling since we took our first steps, it remains one of the most mysterious forces in the universe. Imagine trying to explain love to someone who has never felt it. You can describe how it makes people act, how it feels, but not quite why it exists. That's gravity for you, easy to observe, tricky to explain. Contrary to popular belief, Sir Isaac Newton didn't discover gravity while watching an apple fall from a tree, though he did famously use that story to illustrate his ideas. People had known things fell downward long before Newton was born. The ancient Greeks, particularly Aristotle, were among the first to try to explain why things fall. He thought everything had a natural place and that heavy things wanted to be on the ground while fire wanted to rise to the heavens. Not exactly accurate, but hey, they were working with what they had. Fast forward to Galileo Galilei, who actually tested these ideas by rolling balls down ramps and discovering that all objects fall at the same rate regardless of their weight, a finding that would later become foundational to Newton's work. Newton then formalized gravity into a universal law, Every object attracts every other object with a force proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Simple, elegant and good enough to get humans to the moon and back. Now here's where things get weird and way cooler than a physics textbook. Isaac Newton described gravity as a force acting at a distance. Imagine two magnets pulling toward each other without touching. That's essentially how Newton saw gravity. But he admitted he didn't know how this force worked. It just did. Then came Albert Einstein, the wild-haired genius who turned Newton's idea upside down. Einstein proposed that gravity isn't a force at all. Instead, he said massive objects like stars and planets warp the fabric of space and time around them. Think of sitting on a trampoline. The heavier you are, the more the surface curves. Now roll a marble nearby, it'll curve toward you because the fabric is bent. That's gravity, according to Einstein. So Newton's version works great for everyday stuff, like calculating orbits or launching rockets. But Einstein's theory explains extreme cases, like black holes, GPS satellites needing clock adjustments, and why Mercury's orbit behaves just a little oddly. Welcome to the quantum realm, the land of particles, probabilities and things getting really, really strange. In the world of tiny particles like electrons and quarks, three of the four fundamental forces, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force, are well understood through the lens of quantum mechanics. They're explained by particles exchanging other particles called bosons. But gravity, it doesn't play nice. While we have a quantum description of the other forces, we still don't have a complete theory of quantum gravity. Scientists are working on it, though. One promising idea involves a hypothetical particle called the graviton, which would mediate the gravitational force, much like photons mediate electromagnetism. But here's the catch. Gravity is incredibly weak compared to the other forces. Your body generates more force picking up a coffee mug than Earth's entire gravitational pull on you. That makes gravity hard to detect at the quantum level and even harder to test experimentally. 
This is one of the biggest questions in modern physics. Can Einstein's smooth, curved space-time mesh with the jittery, probabilistic world of quantum mechanics? Right now, no. General relativity and quantum mechanics are like oil and water. They don't mix. When physicists try to apply general relativity to the subatomic scale, things go haywire. Predictions blow up into infinities and equations stop making sense. To solve this, scientists are hunting for a theory of everything, a single framework that unifies all the fundamental forces, including gravity. String theory and loop quantum gravity are two contenders, both trying to stitch together a coherent picture of a quantum universe with gravity built in. But until someone cracks it, gravity remains the odd one out in the quantum family photo album. Stephen Hawking was a man who stared into the abyss of black holes and came out with some pretty wild insights. He loved Einstein's theory of general relativity, but he also knew it had limits. One of his most famous contributions was the idea that black holes aren't completely black. They emit radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, which means they can eventually evaporate over time. But here's the kicker. If a black hole evaporates, what happens to all the information about what fell into it? According to quantum mechanics, information can't be destroyed. But if a black hole disappears, does that mean it takes secrets with it? This became known as the black hole information paradox, and it challenged the very foundations of both general relativity and quantum mechanics. Hawking spent decades debating this with fellow physicists, sometimes jokingly betting on outcomes. Ultimately, he changed his mind more than once, showing that even geniuses can evolve their thinking when faced with new evidence. Let's dive deeper into the mystery. Imagine throwing your diary into a black hole. According to general relativity, once it crosses the event horizon, the point of no return, it's gone forever. But quantum mechanics says information can't be destroyed. So where did your deepest thoughts go? Hawking showed that black holes slowly leak energy through radiation, but that radiation seems random. It doesn't carry any specific information about what went in. If the black hole eventually vanishes, the information inside is lost, which breaks the laws of physics as we know them. This contradiction is the heart of the black hole paradox. It suggests that either general relativity or quantum mechanics or both need an update when dealing with extreme environments like black holes. Some theories suggest information might escape through subtle correlations in Hawking radiation or maybe black holes don't fully evaporate. Others propose that our understanding of reality itself needs a rewrite. Anti-gravity sounds like something straight out of sci-fi. Hoverboards, flying cars, floating cities, but is it real? Well, sort of. While true anti-gravity, something that cancels out gravity entirely, doesn't exist, there are phenomena that mimic its effects. For example, magnetic levitation uses powerful magnetic fields to counteract gravity and make trains hover above tracks. NASA has experimented with using electromagnetic fields to simulate microgravity conditions. There's also dark energy, a mysterious force causing the universe to expand faster and faster. In a way, dark energy acts like a cosmic form of anti-gravity, pushing galaxies apart instead of pulling them together. But actual anti-gravity devices that let us defy gravity like superheroes? Still fiction for now. Einstein didn't just change how we see space, he rewrote our understanding of time too. According to general relativity, gravity affects time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves. This phenomenon, called gravitational time dilation, isn't science fiction, it's measurable. GPS satellites need special corrections because time runs slightly faster in orbit than on Earth's surface. Without accounting for this, your navigation app would send you into a lake instead of to Grandma's house. So, gravity and time are deeply intertwined. Near massive objects like black holes, time stretches and warps. If you could somehow survive near a black hole's edge, you'd age slower than someone far away. Talk about a fountain of youth. Cosmology, the study of the universe's origin and evolution, has pushed scientists to question whether Einstein's theory of gravity is the final word. We've discovered things like dark matter and dark energy, which don't fit neatly into current models. Some scientists wonder if instead of inventing invisible matter and energy, we should tweak the rules of gravity itself. Modified Newtonian dynamics, Amond, and scalar tensor theories are attempts to adjust gravity so it matches observations without needing dark matter. These theories tweak how gravity behaves on large scales like galaxies and galaxy clusters. 
It's like saying, maybe the recipe is right, but we forgot to preheat the oven. By adjusting the ingredients of gravity, cosmologists hope to better understand the universe's structure and expansion. Uh, you may not think about gravity when you wake up in the morning unless you trip over the cat, but it shapes your life in ways you probably never considered. Without gravity, Earth wouldn't hold on to its atmosphere. Without gravity, we wouldn't have oceans, weather or seasons. Without gravity, you wouldn't weigh anything, not even metaphorically. Without gravity, there would be no stars, no planets and definitely no pizza delivery. Understanding gravity helps us explore space, improve technology and even predict the fate of the universe. Whether you're a rocket scientist or just someone who enjoys walking upright, gravity is your silent partner in life. The future of gravity research is exciting and full of unknowns. Gravitational wave astronomy is opening new windows into the cosmos. With instruments like LIGO and Virgo, we're detecting ripples in space-time caused by colliding black holes and neutron stars. Each detection teaches us more about how gravity behaves under extreme conditions. Meanwhile, efforts to unify gravity with quantum mechanics continue, whether it's string theory, loop quantum gravity, or some entirely new idea. The next breakthrough could come from anywhere, even your garage. And let's not forget artificial intelligence and machine learning, which are helping physicists sift through vast amounts of data to find patterns and clues about gravity's deepest secrets. One thing's for sure, gravity will keep surprising us. From apples falling from trees to black holes singing across the universe, gravity remains one of the greatest mysteries and greatest marvels of our time. Gravity isn't just about falling apples or orbiting moons, it's about connection. It's what binds stars into galaxies, planets into solar systems, and you to the Earth you call home. So next time you jump, remember, you're not just landing back on the ground, you're connecting with the entire universe, held together by the invisible thread of gravity. Stay curious, stay grounded, and maybe, just maybe, stay open to the possibility that one day we'll figure out how to fly without wings. And there you have it, my galactic pals. The stars may nudge us with mystery, but it's up to us to listen and to dream even bigger. If you love this episode, show us some love with a like, hit subscribe for more interstellar insights, and drop a comment telling us what resonated most with you. Until next time, stay bold, stay bright, and keep reaching for the stars. <laughs>